Hi, my name is Mary and this is Tyler and we're the autos team at the PA Media Group. Our last video highlighted the PA Media Group's competitive advantages and what separates us from our competition. Today, we will focus on identifying the difference between stimulus and directive advertising. Understanding the push-pull relationship between both is the keystone of creating a balanced advertising strategy. Stimulus advertising is your business looking for potential customers. The goal of stimulus advertising is to make potential customers aware of your product, services, brand, and your competitive advantages. Examples of stimulus advertising include TV, radio, newspaper, billboard, digital display advertising, and even pre-roll video. Directive advertising is potential customers looking for your business. The goal of directive advertising is to be found when potential customers are actively looking for your products and services. Examples of the directive advertising. If it was 1998, Mary and I would be standing up here saying phone books. However, it's 2016. Directive advertising is search engine optimization and paid search. It is very hard to succeed in advertising without having both of these tactics working together. Here's an example of why your stimulus advertising is only as good as your directive advertising. If your dealership is located in York, PA, and you have a terrific billboard on Interstate 83 that, let's say, advertises $189 a month lease on a Honda Civic, this is your stimulus advertising. However, when a potential customer performs a search for Honda dealership York, PA, after seeing your billboard, and you don't show up on the first page of Google, which is where we know 92% of people are clicking, you're missing that customer because of lack of directive advertising. Your stimulus advertising that you paid for, the billboard, is not allowing your customer to find you and is allowing your competitor, who is there when searched, to potentially steal that business or lead from you. The billboard did its job, but you didn't have the correct directive advertising in place, meaning search engine marketing, to take advantage when your customer was looking for you. Here is an example that directive advertising is only as good as your stimulus advertising. In this case, let's assume you have only allocated budget to directive advertising, which is SEO and paid search. Your dealership offers a fantastic deal on free lifetime inspections and oil changes when someone buys a car from you. How will anyone other than your current client base know of your terrific offer if you aren't promoting it through a stimulus advertising platform? That may include billboards, pre-roll video, or display advertising. You are not taking advantage of driving potential customers to your dealership or website. You are not utilizing stimulus advertising to create a better response to your directive advertising. There is no incentive for people to find you or to find that deal. Understanding the mechanics of push-pull advertising allows you to create a more complete and effective advertising strategy. We work with our dealers on finding balance between stimulus and directive advertising and determining that sweet spot to spend your advertising dollars as effectively as possible. We would love the opportunity to discuss your current advertising strategy with you and help how we can help you find what that sweet spot looks like for your dealership. Our contact information is below and we're excited to set up a time to speak with you. Also, stay tuned for next month's video where we will talk to you about how to find the balance utilizing the zero moment of truth mental model of advertising. Thank you, and we look forward to hearing from you. Thank you.